Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona DeChichi, and I wanted to go over the Ensinger fight, uh, the EX trial that we just got for 6.1. We're just going to go through it casually. I might not get all of the mechanics or understand all of the mechanics, like, right at the moment, but as the fight goes on, as you progress, as you look at other guides and other and uh, and do the fight, you'll be able to check it out, you'll be able to learn it, and um, go in and get your clears. We have our marker placements set up like this, which will be critical during the fight. Um, it's sort of a generic, uh, sort of a general clock placement type of things. Oh, and the other things that you got to do is you got to set up left and right groups. Um, you have to set up loose clock positions, and then you also have to set up four folks on the left and four folks on the right. The four people on the left are going to be tanks and healers, and the four people on the right are going to be DPS. And as we go through, you'll be able to see sort of the, the ideas with this. So first things up is this whatever ability this thing is. Ah, right, the planets. Um, all right, so we got two planets, right? The first planet are red planets. Those have AoEs. The blue planets have uh, are a knockback. And for these red planets, oh, and there's also at this giant, um, there's a giant head in the middle right here. Actually, let's see, is this better? Yeah, there's this giant head in the middle and there's an arrow of where of the direction this head is facing and what this what this head is going to do is it's going to cleave the entire um one side of the stage of which way this this head is facing right over here so let's wipe that up and then uh, click on play so one of the things with the planets is that they'll always explode on a diagonal or a uh, anti-cardinal uh, direction, and you always and the slow planet is the planet that is going to. It'll always travel 90 degrees from the center. So you can see here that I'm looking that I just looked at that slow planet, which is going um, that way, and we sort of do a run here. And as you turn around, there's going to be an AOE line that comes through the middle right here, and all this is going to be taken up. Um, and then this planet is going to explode with an AoE around it, much like the uh, story mode, like a big huge AoE that goes around here like this. I wish I got thicker lines, but yeah, it'll be okay. And there you go. And so, and then that, and then it shows you the mechanic of that. Um, the planets AoE are not forgiving at all. If you get hit with those, you're dead. Um, but the rest of the mechanics, if you get hit, there's it's more favorable. Um, and here is just a raid-wide AoE, so healers heal accordingly. And we have another planet. Um, so as you can see here, I'm looking at the blue planet, which is a knockback. And then uh, we have the we have the head down here that's facing this way with the little arrow right here. So the way to handle this is to run towards the blue planet that's the slower one. And as you can see, they explode, you get knocked back. And then you have to dodge that uh, that cone AOE right there. Now at this point, uh, this is uh, chains and towers. So we all stack up in the middle here. DPS will run right looking at the boss. And tanks and healers will, will run left looking at the boss. So we go all the way out. We break the chains. And at this point, you want to look at uh, the boss's face. If her mouth is glowing purple, she'll do a line AOE through the middle. And if her eyes are glowing, she'll do a line AOE on the outsides of the stage. So the middle is safe. And in these towers, pretty much the line AOE from the boss will go right through the middle of these towers. Um, and let's see here. It'll go right through the middle of these towers. And so you can see all of us in this case, we're all, like, here's the AOE. We're all standing on the outsides um, of the towers right here. And in that case, you're going to see in this particular thing, let's see here, um, yeah, that the AoE goes right through the middle there. Um, so just be aware that when you're in the towers, it could be either in the middle here, uh, like this, or it could be on the outsides. And this will be a mechanic that you'll see throughout the fight with different, um, with different ideas. And, as you, and another thing here is, like, if you take a look at our healers right over here, we have a 1 and a 2 marker. It's to isolate, it's to identify the, um, the healer groups um, as, we, as we go forward. Telos, I think, is an AoE. Let's see what it does. 
because I'm more of a reactive person like when I'm watching back videos. Um, these are simple tank busters, uh, probably a provoke here or not, I don't know. Um, but I'm sure you guys that are tanks out there will be very much aware of it um, and what to do. The Unforgotten, this mechanic. Let's see, what what is this one? AoE with the planets. And uh, again, this is going to be the planets. This is so these are blue planets, so this is gonna be a knockback. You could see where the you could see the you know, obviously blue planet right here. I think this is the slow moving one. This planet right here is the fast moving one. And then we have the head which will cleave the side of the stage she's facing. And one of the things that I sort of uh, think about is that um, one, like if you, I first look at this head, right? I look at the head in the middle and sort of isolate which side of the stage it's cleaving. Then I take a look at where the slow planet is going to explode and then sort of calculate where to run and where to get knocked back from. So you can see I like tilt my camera, go out to D and then wait for the knockback. And then we're gonna get in our healer groups at, at the moment. So with healer groups, generally there's a there's a left and a right healer group, but you also have to do a healer group, um, one healer group at the front and one healer group at the back. And we sort of we and if you think about it, we we do this like rotate clockwise um, thing where group one will always go to the front, and then group two will always go to the back. We do this because at some points in the fight, the boss will do her mouth or her eyes thing and there will be line AoEs going through the stage. So there's not enough space to separate it on the, have two groups on the left and right. So that's why we have one healer group on the front and one healer group at the back. And now here's the, uh, the idea with this mechanic. Like these rings identify um, stepping backward in time. And as you saw in the story, she's going to reform these planets. And now we have two sets of knock, we have four planets with two sets of knockbacks. Um, and you can tell which planet is going first. Here, let me back up for a second. You can tell which planet is going to a knockback first or explode first by the animation. So you can see here that I'm looking at the animation and the animation behind us like formed first and the animation up front formed last. So there's the knockback one, and then you go to this one right here, knockback two. So that's how you handle that. Um, and then you also have to look at her, right? So so see her eyes right here? Her eyes are gonna be uh, left and right. If she's spitting out of her mouth, she's gonna spit through the middle. Um, so you gotta take a look at that as well for this one. And so for this mechanic, oh man. Um, this is probably the hardest mechanic to wrap at least my head around, um, like in the moment, but here's how it kind of works. Um, first we have the head in the middle, right? Um, so we got the head right here and she's also got an arrow right here facing a direction. So she's going to, so the middle head, only the middle head, is going to cleave this side of the stage, the side that she's facing. Therefore, um, what we do is we move the party moves to the safe side of the stage and then either this head or this head will have a safe spot underneath it so let's just focus on this one first and you'll see here as we move along so we move to the safe side we see where the safe uh, spot is we and then we just get in there now at this point you kind of have to just take note that this mechanic leads into the next mechanic. Now what will happen is that uh, the heads will, uh, everything will rotate clockwise. So there was one, this is two, and you can see the head in the middle right here. It's now, it now has rotated clockwise. It's pointing this way, and so this half of the stage will be cleaved um, by the head in the middle. And then we run all the way back here to the third spot and then you can see the head has rotated 90 degrees again um, in the center and we have the and it'll cleave this this side of the stage um, and this will happen three times it always rotates clockwise all right and so now this is five head this is where it gets really confusing so 
each one of these heads will get a ring. And remember what I said uh, before is that each one of these rings identifies a step back in time. So for instance, uh, one ring is stepping back one set of mechanic, two rings is stepping back two sets of mechanic, and three rings is stepping back three sets of mechanics. Um, there's a whole bunch of other guides and like details and like diagrams that'll kind of help you out with working this out in your brain. Um, but here's the sort of the basic idea. You want to look at the middle head first. If the middle head has three, if, if the middle head has one ring, then it's going to do the last mechanic that it just did. So if it had one ring, and this is if it had one ring, it's going to cleave the side of the stage that it just was cleaving. Um, if it had two rings, it's going to backtrack two. So it's going to go, so it's going to reverse one, two, and then it's going to cleave. I believe it's this side. It would be this side of the stage. So then if it cleaved, so then if it backtracks three times, that means it's going to be the, um, that means it's going to backtrack three times. So it means like this would be one, this would be two, and then this would be three. So she's going to rotate back to her original position and cleave the back here. Uh, or if the way to think about it is that if you get three rings, it's going to flip from where she is. So the first thing I try to do here, and I'm, I'm not great with this mechanic at all, um, is that you have to look at how many rings is on the first head. Um, once you determine how many rings, it, uh, the uh, three rings will be the first mechanic it does, two rings will be the second mechanic it does, and then, the, and then one ring will be the last mechanic um, it does. And for this center head, the mechanic is cleaving half the stage. Once you figure out that, then you look at the outside heads and their mechanics. If it's a one, it was the last thing that they did, um, either the donut or the AOE underneath them. If it was two, it's the opposite. And if it was three, it's the same. So if it's one and three, it's the same. If it's two, it's the opposite. I know it kind of doesn't make that much sense, and like I said, I have trouble uh, explaining it. So down in the comments below, uh, there's going to be a write-up of just how exactly this mechanic works, so definitely check that out. So let's see, if it's three rings here, and she cleaved half of this stage this way, then that means her first mechanic would be, um, would be, it would rotate here, and then it would rotate here. And then uh, this side of the stage, this back part of the stage, right here would be completely thing uh, would be uh, the AOE that she's going to hit and therefore the two ones at the front are the ones that like this side of the quadrant this side of the stage is going to be the safe side and then you have to look at each head and see which one is the correct one and in this case because it was both one it was the last mechanic that they did which which I think this one right here is going to be our safe spot. And let's see if I got that right. So we go there and yep, here we are. That's our safe spot. Um, it has to do with the rings and the order. If you think about it in, the, in like time and the mechanic and also to uh, just real quick, this is a, this is a, you know, you saw our stack group right here. Um, so we had our healer group one, healer group two, this one at the front, this one at the back. This could be either the mouth or it could be the sides over here. So you have to, you have to take a look and, uh, and make sure as you're going that, uh, going that way. And of course, knowing me, cause I am horrible at this game, I, uh, I died. So that's fun. And I don't know if we, I don't know if this one was a clear or not. It might be in the next one that we got the clear. Um, Tank Busters come out next, as you saw there. Um, and we'll just keep going. And here's Future Lycona, because I finally got a better handle on the mechanics, and I've actually written this part out too. So, uh, Despair Unforgotten, and here's how this works. We're going to get three mechanics in any order, a spreads, a stack, or a spread stack, um, or as we call it, a spread, a stack, and a spread. So spread, spread, stack. Uh, all these mechanics, 
can happen in any order. So just take note of the order of what you do in this case. Then we get rings around our characters, and we have to travel back in time and do the mechanic that corresponds with the ring on our character. So uh, if you get one ring, that's the last mechanic you did. If you get two rings, that's the second mechanic that you did. And if you got three rings, it's the first mechanic that you did. Or um, So let's say if it was a spread spread stack and you got a one then you would stack because that was the last mechanic you did if you got two it would be a spread if you got three it would be a spread um so you have to memorize the order of your personal spread stack uh spread or stack mechanic and then repeat those positions when your character gets a ring on it if you kind of think about how the rings when they get put on the characters or they get put on your heads is just traveling backwards in time, uh, the same with the planets, then that's how I sort of conceptualize uh, this the, the ring mechanics that appear on your character. Uh, you just have to travel backwards in time, and in this case, backwards to each of them in the, the mechanics. And here we get into all of our uh, positions for the mechanic of the ring that we got, and there we go, it's resolved. This thing right here, um, four AoE hits, they hit really hard and you get a bleed here, so it's really tough on the healers. Um, but yeah, definitely mitigation, all that good jazz. And here we go for the next mechanic. Oh, these are heads, we call it uh, Vape Nation, um, and you'll see why. So she'll, um, she'll throw out these rings from her mouth, uh, and they're all the way up here. Um, so you gotta kinda look at the boss's head. One of the things that uh, I've noticed is that there'll be more rings on one side than on the other. And so what this does is that these three rings will go to these uh, heads over here. So like as soon as she has those rings like come out of her mouth, you can tell which side is going to be the safer side. And then you gotta just keep an eye on this left ring and see which head is it going to go to like that and then uh and then we'll get into this mechanic but that's how i kind of work it out in my brain is like look for the side that has the least amount of rings to it that side will be the safe side and then you got to look at like where this ring is going so that ring is going to so this ring right here um right here is going to this back head uh and you'll be able to see the giant aoe's uh You'll be able to see the giant head AoEs right here. And now all of these uh, heads are going to throw their rings to other spots. Now what I find, what I found out, um, and this was, this is an earlier fight, and as we farm this for a little bit, um, run right into the middle and then look around and see where the better spot is, or the safer spot is. Um, it, it makes this mechanic a little bit more trivial um, because you can see it better especially if you're right in the middle. Um, so as you can see here, I kind of I kind of go into the middle, and as you can see, uh, this ring is heading towards this head, this ring is heading towards this head, this ring is heading towards this head. So, actually, I, th I think that's the way it's doing it. I don't know. Um, but once you see the rings, oh, they're all moving to different like locations. I think this head over here um, is the safe one, because nothing's going to there. Uh, let's find out. Probably not. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Cool. Um, yeah, and you have to be at the very edge, you know, uh, in dodging that AoE. And the same thing with the, um, uh, this is her mouth right here. Uh, you always kind of have to look out at her face and see if she's going to do that line AoE through the middle or, uh, on, on either side. And now you've seen all the mechanics in the fight. You'll get Telos again, which is another, uh, that's a, the AoE. Uh, another tank mechanic, the same tank mechanic. And here we go. This is a, uh, this is either, this could be either a red or a blue planet with the head in the middle. So sort of do it like you did the same, the same way as before. And now we get healer, we get healer stacks, and I, I kind of messed up, I think. I think we got, 
we got slammed here. And then at this point, uh, it's she's dialing back in time, and she's repeating it. So what you have to do is look at the animation, and these are the double knockbacks. So for this one, there's going to be four planets. There's going to be two knockbacks back to back, and then two red planets that explode back to back. And you could get either the blue planets first or the red planets first, so just be on the lookout. And uh, it's a bit confusing, you have to look at all of the animations, and we, we sort of got caught off guard here. Um, yeah, we totally got caught off guard, but uh, let's go to the other video where we actually did get the clear. This fight is extremely lenient. Uh, we've had, we've cleared with like, we've cleared with like 14 deaths before, because we were just like, we're so far into it, why? Like, let's keep going. And now we have the uh, the four planets uh, that we were just uh, just getting back to, like on our last wipe. So we get a knockback here. We get another knockback. And at this point, you want to take a look at the animations of the planets that are forming on the other side, because you know they're going to be red planets. So you kind of want to get knocked back um, towards the side that is not a planet that is exploding. And I get caught here. Um because it exploded uh, at D and now those planets over there exploded and now this is one of those things where I think we did a tank limit break because uh, if you get caught a tank limit break will save you there because the, if you're not stacked in those towers they'll kind of wreck you um, and from this th from this place uh, I think we recovered and, like I was saying before, this fight is extremely, extremely lim uh, um, forgiving because, like, we, like the, on our first couple of runs, it's like, everyone's dying, we're dying, I'm dying, it's, it's a whole cluster, but uh, we're, we were able to, like, get up and pull through, and we were like, you know, is this Enrage? Is, is this mechanic the Enrage? Is this one the Enrage? And so, you know, but, but at this point, you've seen all the mechanics before. Here's five head again. Right before that, you saw um, you saw the AOE hit four times uh, with the bleed debuff on there, and and you know after you get all of these mechanics down, um, it's just a matter of just keeping up the DPS and um, and sort of wrapping your head around this uh, around these mechanics. And uh, this one is obviously pretty tricky. And let's see what happens here. Um, so remember, look at the center head first. So this is three rings, so it's going to backtrack to its first spot, which is um, back over here. And then you have to look at the two rings and two rings, which means that if this was our safe spot and that was our safe spot it was if it was one on the original, then um, this one, I think, is the safe spot right here. Um, but let's see if that is the... Um, Let's see if that is the correct assumption, which we up a D, yep. Cool, hey, I'm learning, because I had no idea what was going on at this time when I was clearing this fight. Um, also here, right after this, you'll get healer stacks, and then you can see her mouth up top is glowing, so she's going to line AoE through the middle. Or if it's her eyes, she's gonna line on, the, uh, on either side of the stage. So yeah, a lot of these mechanics are combinations of mechanics that you've seen before. And, um, you know, after about 6%, uh, we clear it. Um, we never hit Enrage, even, like, with all the deaths and everything. So this fight is very, very forgiving. Like, if you can handle and do the mechanics and sort of survive all the big hits and survive all of the different things, uh, then you'll make it through this thing uh, no problem. Uh, but I hope you learned something. I, I hope it... And at, le at least, like, my, like, weird, um, bumbling, like, methodology of figuring things out can help you out with this fight. I know it's not as clean and as polished and as, you know, eloquent as the Easy Peasy Guides. But one of the things is, is that, you know, I, I really wish I had more time or, or spent full, or spent my full time working on these things. But, uh, uh you know, gotta pay the bills, gotta, you know, work on the career, so... What can you do? And you're also probably wondering why I put in the last part of the end singer's uh, music in this entire fight rather than uh, the other beef beef tacos song. 
is because I really think in sort of like our entire raid group, like everybody agrees that this song should be the song to enhance this fight and to make it like all in awesome and epic and you know uh hopefully maybe we can petition se to like change it in the future but for the most part um i like this song better than um than the other one that they have in there right now so there you go yeah that's uh that's about it um thank you guys uh for joining in and listening and uh i hope you go out there and get your clears and um yeah until next time keep on adventuring <laughs>